coming up to Christmas, time for festive food. One of my favourites and one of yours, I'm sure. Chicken spider. Now this one is a dead one. For goodness sake, get a dead one if you can. You do not want that sort of uh, uh, issues in your life. Now, the thing to do is just to take the body and uh, just twist it like this. You should find that it comes out perfectly well. Now, this is the sort of thing where if you're not confident, ask a butcher to do it. I'm sure he'll be happy to help you out. Now, what we need to do is put these into a bowl. Here we go, there's a bowl. It's a spider, there's eight of them. In they go, into the bowl. Excellent. Now we have this. Now this is buttermilk. A ghastly, ghastly waste product from the uh, dairy industry. You have to just open it up and tip all the unspeakable goo all over the severed limbs of your chicken spider. You thought that was disgusting? It's going to get more disgusting now because you've got to get in with your hands and you've got to scoogle it and oogle it. As they say, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a classical cooking term. And uh, make sure it's all covered in the unspeakable dairy filth. Thus. And then you leave that for, well, hours, till dinner time, really. Well, it's dinner time now. I've covered it with cling film to keep the beasties out, but. Uh, Otherwise, that's been in there for about seven hours. Is that too much? Oh, maybe. Now then, maybe like bowls, because we need another one. Big bowl, big bowl. Now in this bowl, we're going to get some of this. We've got, um, it's just plain flour. And it goes, and uh, very careful that you measure out, I don't know, some. And make sure you've got some. There we go, I've got maybe three handfuls of there, well, I don't know. It's not important. Or oh, maybe it is important, I just don't care if it's important or not. That's probably the prob uh, my problem. Now, some salt as well. Some salt as well, because chicken and shit like salt. Mix it all the way up. Now, we have some spices. Oh, now this one is you need a little tiny bit of chilli powder. <sighs> Actually, it's quite a fatty thing, this, so you're going to lose all the heat in the fat. Then you need a little bit of this. This is um, garlic. Yeah, I'm reasonably sure that's garlic. Now, you can kind of add a little bit. You can kind of make it up as you like. This is a bit of paprika. Paprika. And then let's have a little bit of pinch of cumin as well. What the hell? What the hell? Now, if it's not hot enough, I'm going to use a dipping sauce to make it super hot. Anyway, so I don't even care. I don't even. Now, um, anything else? What do you reckon? Um, that's a that's a coriander as well, just to make it a bit a bit aromatic and a bit fruity. Right then, plate. We need a plate. Now then, our chicken. Just going to shake a little bit off and then dump it in um, the crumbs of the bread. Not bread comes at all, what am I talking about? It's flour. The flour um, mixture. Yeah. Mmm, yum. Raw chicken been steeped in dairy filth. Keep going. I mean, totally just roll them around until they don't pick up any, uh, any other stuff. You see why it's a nonsense measuring out flour because you just you're gonna have a load to chuck away afterwards. That's just the nature of it. But just have enough for everything. There's lots of salt and burn and uh, stuff. Yep. Eight. On a chicken spider, as we said before. Lovely. Six, seven, get in there. Oh, beautifully covered. Super, super. Now, you'll see what we're left with is the vile, slightly blood-stained uh, buttermilk, which makes a, a lovely, lukewarm drink. Um, it'll keep for, I don't know, 
months. As long as it's still liquid, you can drink it, enjoy. Big pan. And some oil. You can deep fry them, I suppose, if you've got a deep pan, but this is a good size frying pan, this will do. And it doesn't have to cover them, because you'll be turning them, but oh, I'm going to throw it all away afterwards. I might as well use it all. I'm the only meat eater in the house, you see, so if I use oil for meat, you've got to go straight in the bin. Right, wait till they get up to temperature, then it's fry time. Alright, the oil's a bit warm. Uh, to the point where if you just stick this in, it starts to just sizzle ever so slightly. So I'm going to stick them all in like this. Just let them ever so lightly fry. You don't want them to cook too quick, Carl. If they cook too quick, you're going to have raw chicken inside. Which uh, is not really what I'm after, not today at least. Oh crap, now I'm running out. Beast man, get in there. One more, in and go over right there. Super, super. Now, these will be turned, so I'm not really worried that there's a bit sticking out. And uh, they'll probably take a good 20 minutes. Well, we're coming up to 20 minutes of boiling in oil now, so um, well, they're starting to look the part. They're pretty much done. I'm now going to take them out and I'm going to drain them on some paper. Hot! Oi, check that out. I did mention earlier this is uh, rapeseed oil. Oil seed rape. What? What oil really rape seed? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's the one that's yellow and goes in the fields. Ah, don't crack. There we go. <laughs> no. And that brings us to perfection. The ultimate fried chicken drumstick. Just needs a little garnish. Beautiful. So I, I'm going to try and keep the ratio one drumstick to one beer and uh, see if I can get it all eaten before it gets cold. Hooray for fried chicken! <laughs>